Okay guys, another quick video here just to show, help you make that histogram and to show you a few things I forgot on the last one. The other statistical things that we're looking for, we're looking for mode and median, and of course the computer will do that for us really quick too. Uh, let me show you uh, what's going to happen with mode. Mode's a real simple one to use. I'll put it in there. I'll go equals, and I'm going to start writing mode. It'll pop in there, and it's going to ask for some data. I'll put it here. That's what I want. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to highlight it differently. So every piece of data in there, I'm just going to highlight the whole column. Boom, like that. Close it off. And it says NA, which means not applicable. And what that means is there's not a mode. Nothing occurs more than once here. So watch what happens if I put in another one here. If I put a 5, someone else is 5 foot 9. All right, I have to drag that down. And now it tells me, okay, the mode is 5.75. That occurs twice, which is more often than any of these other things. Let me show you another limitation, though, of the mode, at least with Google's spreadsheet. What if I put in another one? Let's put in 411. It returns one mode only, and in fact, in this case, there's two, right? 4.92 and 4.92 occurs, so does 5.75, it occurs twice. So one of the limitations with Google's mode is that it will only return, if there's multiple modes, it just returns uh, the lowest one. So we'll do the last one, we'll do the median. Now in this case, equals, um, we'll start writing the median, right? There it is. It's prompting us for data. I'm just going to do that whole column in there, close it off. The median value happens to be 5.75. So half the values are greater than that, half the values are less than that. The other thing we want to do is the histogram. Watch how simple it is to do this. Again, we're going to highlight the column we're interested in. We're going to go over here with this little chart icon. It actually looks like a histogram. And we're going to select what do we want to do. Uh, we want to have a certain chart type. So now it's set for line. We don't want that. It's actually recommending, hey, this looks like histogram data here. I'm going to click that. And there it is. Look how, look how quick and easy that was, right? This is the histogram. Uh, we can come back and change a few things. But what it's done is it's automatically divided, it looks like, by every 0.4 feet. Uh, so 4.9 to 5.3, there were two students that have that height. Uh, 5.3 to 5.7, there were two. The most common we had was 5.7 to 6.1, there were four of them. And then there's over here. So look how fast it made that histogram. Let's just shrink that little, that cute little guy, and let's stick him right there. We'll get rid of that. And hey, that's it. That's that simple for us. So we're going to practice these skills on a few other data sets.